Last time we got revenge on the Eye of Cthulhu. For today's episode, the goal is to beat the brain. Let's get to it then. After beating the Eye of Cthulhu, I searched on the wiki for some new accessories. And one in particular caught my eye. Feral claws are an accessory that increase attack speed by 12% and also enable auto-swing for most melee weapons. This accessory also has a pretty cool upgrade path in the future. And also, to be honest, I just wanted to try it out, because I never use it in my normal playthroughs. Since this accessory is found in ivy chests, you know what that means. Some more underground jungle exploration. The jungle biome in this world has a lot of chests and heart crystals. I also found a few dead man's chests, but I disabled the traps before opening them to not get exploded. During my exploration, I found the jungle temple and the skeleton merchant. The merchant had a red counterweight which I bought almost immediately, just in case I'll be using yo-yos in the future. I remember when they added them to the game, I used yo-yos almost exclusively. They were really fun to play with. The middle part of the underground jungle had a pretty crazy generation. There was a granite cave and two marble caves. Sadly, I didn't find any chests in these mini biomes. After some more searching, I finally found the feral claws. I looked through a few more chests and went back home. You know, I don't think I need to wait any longer. It's time to challenge the brain of Cthulhu. For some reason, I thought the brain was gonna be a walk in the park. So I didn't even make an arena and went straight for the Crimson Heart. The brain of Cthulhu has awoken. I didn't want to fight it in the underground, so I tried to make my way to the top as fast as I could. But the brain blocked my path several times. I took a lot of damage, but made it to the surface in the end. At that point it was too late though. When the brain made it to phase 2, I did some damage, but died shortly after. Damn you brain, I'm gonna get ya, don't you worry. Maybe fighting the brain completely without an arena was a mistake. So I crafted some platforms and built the simplest arena I could think of. I still didn't think the brain of Cthulhu was much of a threat, so I didn't take it completely seriously. I built some platforms, did some reforges and went straight in for round 2. I got through the first phase without much difficulty, but once again the second phase was the bane of my existence. I tried hitting it with my second melee weapon, because the poison can reveal the true location of the brain when it gets indistinguishable from the illusions. This probably wasn't the greatest idea, because when you miss, you can't change weapons until it gets back to you. So to be honest, I kinda panicked and as Terraria would say, I had my home remodeled by the brain of Cthulhu. Alright, it's time to get serious. I crafted the Deathbringer pickaxe and went straight to hell. Mined some hellstone and made the molten armor set. Now I think I'm ready to take on the brain of Cthulhu. But before that... Alright, I made the arena a little bit bigger and then summoned the brain of Cthulhu again. The first phase went pretty okay once again. 
I killed all the creepers and the brain got angry. And towards the end of the fight, I got into this pretty cool groove when it wasn't able to hit me at all. So yeah, I finished it off and that means the third boss of the melee playthrough has been slain. Thanks for watching.